Well, just after November's election, we spoke to the president's niece, Mary L. Trump. Back then, she warned us that her uncle would do anything to avoid losing power. So how does she feel now? She's uh, on the line. Welcome back to the programme, Mary Trump. Uh, I guess you were right. Unfortunately, um, you know, not just me, a lot of people called this and a lot of people called this long before I did. So, um, you know, it's it's um, absurd to suggest that nobody saw this coming. Um, it's absurd to suggest that we didn't know well before the election how incompetent and unfit Donald was. Uh, to hold this office, uh, not, uh, John Bolton's comments notwithstanding. You're the president's niece, but you're also a clinical psychologist. So try and give us an insight into his state of mind today, especially after the speech that he gave last night, the scripted speech, in which he seemed to completely change his tune. And then again today said that he will not be showing up for Joe Biden's inauguration. That speech last night was was a lie beginning to end. And probably the most important thing about it was that he did not concede the election. So um, that was a signal, I believe. And as you said, Donald's back to form this morning. What we need to keep in mind uh, is that because Wednesday failed, uh, I mean, it does, that does not uh, diminish the horror of it, um, but it failed and Joe Biden was indeed uh, certified as our next president. So Donald is right now in a very desperate state. He's never been in a position like this before. This is a loss he cannot overturn no matter how hard he tried. And because of the level of desperation he's feeling and because he understands what the consequences of being out of the Oval Office are for him, criminally, financially, et cetera, um, it's, it's ridiculous to suggest we don't need to worry and everything will be fine in 12 days. What do you think he's doing right now in that building behind me? Um, my guess is that uh, people are trying to impress upon him the seriousness of his situation. Um, I'm, I'm fairly certain that that's why um, he made that video last night, because somebody was able to uh, make it clear to him that he had exposed himself to serious charges if he didn't try to undo the fact that he incited an armed insurrection against our country. Um, but whether or not they succeed, it, it's, I think it's unlikely. I, honestly, I think he needs to be removed immediately whether through impeachment and removal or through the 25th Amendment. Um, but because if he somehow is convinced to resign, uh, I think it would be a tragedy for him to be pardoned if that were part of the bargain. Um, I think Donald, knowing him as I do, he's probably still trying to maneuver a way to get out of this mess without admitting defeat. And what about your cousins, Ivanka Trump, Donald Jr.? I mean, they were so much part of the family firm and the White House. What's their future now? What are they thinking? Well, um, from what I've seen, uh, they were in a video yesterday uh, that clearly showed that they were actively cheering on an act of sedition in this country. So... Um, my guess is that they also are trying to figure out how to cover themselves going forward. And that's another reason to remove Donald as soon as possible. They should not be allowed to be pardoned. These, these would be corrupt pardons and Donald should not have the option of pardoning either himself or his complicit children.